so nervous I can talk. A little bit on the Talking is so ridiculously hard. Hey guys, I hope you're all having a beautiful, wonderful day. This is Karina, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a huge video on the best coats and jackets that we need for spring. Before, 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 <laughs> I'm so drunk. Before we get started, I want you guys to hit that like button and leave me a comment right now telling me what temperature it is where you are currently living. That way I can make weather appropriate suggestions and you know, not suggest like a freaking down jacket when it's 30 degrees outside. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the most obvious, basic, quintessential spring jacket and that is a basic black oversized blazer. This one I got from H&M and I'm wearing a size small, just slightly on the oversized side. It's not too baggy. If you don't want to invest in a black blazer, you can always like borrow or steal <laughs> your boyfriend's jacket. And I just think that a basic black blazer like this goes with so many things. Basic black blazer. Oh, that's like BBB. Is BBB a thing? I'm gonna coin it, okay? BBB equals basic black blazer. This goes so well with jeans, yoga pants, and it's the perfect like quintessential Hailey Bieber look. Especially if you pair it with like a white bra top like this and some loose fitting jeans and some sneakers. Super clean girl, super model off duty look. Oh, my bones. <laughs> okay, because the blazer and the rest of the outfit is so basic, if you want to kind of jazz up your look, you can go with something, a little pop of color like this green purse over here, or you can just keep everything super neutral with a white bag here. Let me know which one you prefer, pop of color or the neutral one. And, ooh. And, I, ooh. and then we have brown blazer. Brown blazer. Oh my God, this is not brown. <sighs> mom brain. And then we have a gray blazer because I'm addicted to the clean girl aesthetic. I actually got from the Shein men's section. Girls, ladies, do not sleep on Shein men's section, okay? They oftentimes, better than not, mm, I don't know what I'm saying, oftentimes they have stuff that is actually in stock and just the right amount of oversizedness and this one is so perfect because it comes with actual shoulder pad. Pad? <laughs> So nervous I can talk. Comes with actual shoulder pads. The sleeves are super long, and I think I got this in size large in the men's section. It fits me like this with pockets like this. There's also a pocket on the inside here. I don't know to like <laughs> put your man's credit card or whatever when you're going out. I also think this look pairs beautifully with athleisure stuff on the bottom. So if you have like a matching set. That's another shade of gray, haha, <laughs> 50 shades of gray. Or if you want that, like I work at Aritzia aesthetic because I swear, every time I go to Aritzia, they're just something like this. Actually, let me get Peter to come here because I think I got this for him and then I just like stole it. Are you ready? <laughs> okay guys, so this is, oh my God, you should do trial hauls. <laughs> this is actually what it's supposed to look like on a dude. This is a men's large, you guys turn around. Do a 360 for them. Iconic. Oh my god, I'm sweating. You tell them. Well, yeah, so as, as far as a blazer goes, this is just like a, it's a really chill and relaxed fit. It's, um, yeah, it's really light. It's got shoulder pads and, and it kind of boring. I'm fast goes boarding. here, so it's not bad. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Okay, if black and gray is too boring for you, here's a pastel pink blazer. This is not supposed to be an oversized blazer, but I have that like oversized mentality going on in my brain. It's from Zara, it's a women's extra large, and this is how it fits on me. I think it's a little bit too big, but I was so influenced by an influencer. Iconic moment of an influencer influencing an influencer who is influencing other people. <laughs> Stop. I hate the word influencer actually. I prefer to call myself a creator, creative director. This is super cute for spring because it's just the right amount of pastel pink. It's not too pastel, it's not too overly bright and in your face and like almost neon like. It is so pretty, it's so gorgeous. Every time I'm in it, I feel like I'm so badass. Cutie badass, soft baddie, soft baddie. And I'm pairing it with this little magenta or like hot pink bag because I just think it goes so well with this shade of pink and this shade of blue for my jeans and I just think this is iconic. Again, I should rename this video to iconic jackets because I use that term so much. Oh guys, hijacking this because I want to show you my new jewelry collection that is coming out soon. 
I'm in the process of still like picking and choosing the pieces that I want to include in my collection and look at this picture right here tell me which ring you like one two three or four I'm wearing them on my finger right now they're all adjustable Yee, I can't wait. I'm so excited every time you guys ask me where it is I'm like ah Back to regular programming. <laughs> oh, it is so hot in here. I really need that Moet and Shandon drink. Shh. How do you pronounce that? Moet and Shandon? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get a bottle and I'm gonna drink it. This is the last blazer, I promise you guys. Okay, this is just another like grayish one. I thought it looked gray on screen, but when I received it, it kind of looked a little bit on the blue side. So it's like a gray goose gray blue blazer talking is so ridiculously hard i love this i also got this from shein and it's not from the men's section but this is actually lined on the inside which is pretty rare for a shein item and it's got shoulder pads but not too much not like lady gaga much i have so many blazers just like lying around my closet like this and do i get more blazers you ask yes if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't drink alcohol if you're not of legal age. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna pop. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Okay, here you go, miss. Thank you. Fresh from the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why do I need alcohol when I'm drunk on life? <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Oh. Guys, this is a faux leather blazer that I'm absolutely in love with. I think it is so trendy. If anything, it is the most trendy blazer that's happening in 2022. And I'm pairing it, okay, with this fit underneath. So this skirt is supposed to be like a... What's it called? Low rise skirt, which is making a huge comeback. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of extremely don't like it. <laughs> like, I'm just so not ready for it. I don't know if you guys love it. Let me know in the comments down below whether you guys hate it and you're reluctant to wear it or you're so excited to rock low rise things again. It was such a big trend when I was back in my teenage years. It's not so low rise, you know, like the Christina Aguilera type of low rise, but uh, I think this is as low as it gets for me. Okay, you're sick of blazers. I'm sick of blazers. Moving on to varsity jackets. Just kidding. I'm actually not sick of blazers. My favorite varsity jacket collection right here. I'm wearing one and so this one that I'm wearing right now is from H&M, the new season, and this one is from their fall season. I actually wore this in the TikTok with Buddy and Zephy, and I actually really like the color scheme because I just think it pairs a lot with the little <laughs> toddler baseball jacket so I can match with my buddies, but you know what? I still think it's a really good jacket because it's so monochrome and it goes with jeans and it goes with crop tops, it goes with like athleisure leggings, it goes with, you know, Lululemon leggings. Ah! Oh, my bones. Oh, this is so heavy. And it's actually a pretty good piece for providing warmth as well when you're needing it in the springtime or, you know, when it springs, I wonder. <laughs> when it springs. Mom brain. When it rains in the springtime, I wonder if this piece is actually um, water resistant because it feels like it. So this is the one from last season that I showed in my fall jacket or I think my fall back to school essentials video from last year. If you guys can check it out. This is what the other one looks like. This is one without the words on it and it's much more basic. And I think it's a little bit more on the softer side. It's not as stiff as the ones with the words written across here. What are the words? Playoff? <laughs> I've never attended a playoff in my life, but I will. Okay, I think the first playoff of my life might be Buddy Soccer Playoff. I forgot what I was doing. I love this baseball jacket. It's a little bit on the... It's not a glitch, I just froze. It's a little bit on the badass side, and I think I really like it. Um, the thing I'm a little bit iffy about is... <laughs> This is what kind of looks like a bat. I mean, when you put it down like this, like everything looks fine and dandy until you raise your arms and then people are like, whoa. Okay, maybe it's not too bad. I'm just over exaggerating because I'm dramatic like that. This sleeve part is a faux leather material and everything else is made of like a felt type of material, not lined on the inside, which is typical for most of Shein's pieces. But I would give them props for having such a great design and it does not feel scratchy despite it being unlined. If you're wondering exactly what green it is, it's the Starbucks. 
Starbucks lady green. I don't know why anyone needs to know that, but it's just mildly interesting, you know? Okay, guys, so the last baseball jacket is this leather baseball jacket that I got from Zara. This is actually from Zara Men's as well, and it's in size extra large, so this is how it fits on me. On the back, it has a little graphic design thing that says never break. Over here, if you come closely, it says legendary mood. I wonder what legendary mood feels like. I need a drink. Oh my god, it's so hot. The only thing about this jacket I really don't like is how heavy it is literally the weight on my shoulders just weighing me down oh and i think i got it for peter too so i'm gonna get him over here to show you what it looks like on an actual dude never break i wish i can say that about all my it's necklaces so weird. why is it like legendary mood and never break at the back your never mood? break your legendary break mood ah. always stay in legendary mood mm, okay mm. moving on to cropped teddy jackets i would say it's perfect for spring and also perfect fall but not so much for fall so yeah mostly for spring <laughs> It has snap buttons down the middle here and there's two pockets here also with snap buttons It is lined on the inside. It's not too thick in case you have a milder spring Or if you want just to like get that texture going on your outfit This is a really good option The cuffs here also pop open with snap buttons And I just think that looks really really cuddly like every time I'm in something teddy Talking is so ridiculously hard. Every time I'm in something like teddy material, I just instantly think I'm so lovable and huggable. This is from H&M and I'm wearing it in this size extra small. And next we have cannot forget about moto jackets for spring. I have a black one on right now that I think is really perfect to go with all outfits. And this other color, it's like a taupe color that I featured in my earlier video that I absolutely am in love with. So this moto jacket is from Shein and it has a slight cropped fit to it. And I love it because the sleeve is not too short. There's zip ups on the sides of the sleeves here and the entire thing just makes me feel really like biker chick, like the moto chick. The thing I love, love most about it is how it feels. It feels really silky, really smooth. It's faux leather, of course, and it's lined on the inside. It just looks and feels more expensive than it actually is. One other thing I really like about it is the belt here on the bottom is actually uh, sewn onto the jacket itself so you're not constantly trying to like pull it back and forth or you know it sometimes just like fall out it grows wings and fly out on its own I have that happen to me on so many of my jackets you guys let me know if it's a constant problem and that happens to you too this is what the taupe one looks like on me I actually like this one because the feel of it is not what you would expect for a moto jacket this actually feels like fabric like it feels so smooth with the look of a model jacket so you're not sacrificing style for comfort equally as lightweight and equally as parable you can just throw it on in the morning on top of anything you're wearing on the bottom and be good to go okay next up we have a faux leather jacket that i am absolutely in love with i think this is such such a great dupe for the aritzia faux leather jacket that is currently sold out i believe and this is such a nice color the material feels like butter the inside is lined with this faux suede material that it's just cozy and it's not so thick that it makes you sweat during the springtime but it's not super super duper thin that you feel like you're wearing a sheet of paper on you the way I paired it is with just a cropped hoodie on the inside and I just think this is so ah! again super super clean girl aesthetic my kind of look and screams casual but trendy what do you guys think do you guys like these kind of faux leather jackets let me know in the comments down below Okay, guys, so this next jacket I feel like is a really, really good thick spring jacket for those of you who are having really, really colder springs like Canada where I am. I got this in Zara because as soon as I saw it, I was like, it's calling my name. It has a chain belt. You can just have it belted up or leave it hanging like this. And both, I think, actually gives a really classy silhouette to your entire outfit. Plus the texture and the color scheme is just so nicely woven. There's a white, there's beige. There's taupe, there's a little bit of gray, there's a little bit of like darker black as well. So it really complements every skin tone. And can I just hijack this to show you guys my skirt? Okay, this skirt I am so excited about and I'm so gonna be wearing it all throughout spring and summer. It is so classic. Just when you think this is just your run-of-the-mill basic white pleated skirt, it's not. Yeah! 
the quality is a uh, freaking amazing the size is pretty much true the size you are not able to tell that it has built-in shorts on the bottom and that is so important when it comes to these type of like chiffon type of like airy skirts because first of all it is not see-through at all because it has the shorts layer underneath and second of all because of the lighter weight it's more likely to fly up all over the place and you're gonna be having like a Marilyn Monroe moment genius G me effing s oh woo. you guys should definitely run don't walk to get the skirt i'll be linking it down below okay this blazer i've talked about in a lot of my other videos but this is basically one blazer for so many different occasions it can be classy it can be casual it can be professional it can be used in the work setting it can be used to dress up or down quality is amazing it has a tiny tiny fine houndstooth pattern to it it's lined on the inside has built-in shoulder pads basically everything i'm asking for in a good tweed blazer and just manages to like take whatever outfit you're wearing and like take it to the next level yeah. last coat I'm going to talk about depending on where you are again it can either be a winter coat or a spring coat if you guys remember me talking about this black long coat from before then you would definitely recognize this one because it is the exact same jacket but just in a different color I think this is definitely more for like colder months like fall and winter and then throughout the spring you can like maybe graduate to something a little bit lighter like this but because I love this so much I had to get the exact same one I cannot get enough of this jacket this is a Korean brand called Daba Girl and it is one of their premium collections the entire thing is handmade and it's made of 70% wool so it actually keeps you warm without adding on all the bulk what do you guys think do you guys like the lighter color or the black version I think the buttons actually stand out a bit more in the black version so yeah I gravitate more towards this one what do you guys think let me know okay guys that is it for this jacket video let me know which jacket is your favorite and also don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know what temperature it is where you are currently living so i can get more inspo for outfits <laughs> i don't know see you guys in my next video and if you want bye say something funny about a blazer so yeah this blazer uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. Cut that. <laughs>